Okay, um, my name is Lee and um, I wanted to explain uh, the basics of how to set up the automatic tool height adjustment on the Syntec 6MA machine. Um, I'm not sure if this is exactly the correct factory way, but this is the way that I do it and um, it seems to work really well and needs very little adjustment after you've had it set. Uh, I apologise that this video will probably be put together in pieces as I'm kind of new to the whole uh, blogging thing and uh, I'm not entirely sure how to do it. <laughs> so for starters um, I'll explain a little bit of um, what we're doing and uh, what I'm doing. Now uh, when the Syntec 6MA um, does the tool measurement um, on the um, offset which is um, this button F3 here um, you get uh, all your um, offsets and external shifts and if I check on the um, uh, tool tip, tip uh, the tool set, um, then you can see um, all of the offsets, which is the differences in the heights of all the machines, heights that I've got. Now, uh, tool number eight here, which is seven hundred thousandths out, is actually my reference tool. Um, and what you really need is you need all of the other tools to be referenced against your reference tool, um, and that way. Uh, the offsets work and if you use the reference tool whenever you're setting up a piece of material it makes it um, very easy to align it. So um, what we'll do to start with is um, I'll show you the reference tool and um, show you um, how to get it. So the easiest way to do this is to go back to the main screen and then go into monitor um, and hit uh, MDI down here on the keyboard um, and then up here enter the MDI input of T8 which happens to be the position that I keep my reference tool in. By typing in a simple command um, I can get it to run across and grab the correct tool for me. So I can now press uh, go down here, it's in MDI mode and press go. The machine will now run across and go to the automatic tool splitters checking the tool, swap to the um, reference tool, which I can then um, press jog and bring across. Now uh, if I bring the dust hood up and um, go and grab this, trying to manipulate it by hand, you can see this is my reference tool. Um, the specifics of the measurement for it uh, are here. So this shows you how I made it. Basically, it's a, um, a round tool uh, with a 3mm shaft, 25mm shank on the shaft, and a tip on the point so that I can use it to align to the corner of a piece of material. Um, uh, I didn't make this myself, we have an engineering shop across the road uh, with a lathe and they just turned it down for me. Um, if you keep a reference tool to use as your basis for every other measurement that never changes, um, then you've always got a reference for all the other tools to be marked against. So um, that's why I use that particular tool. Uh, now I'll put this back in the machine uh, and then I'll explain how we do the setup for the references on it. Okay, so this is the Syntec keyboard, um, and on XYZ on the side you have all these additional buttons, um, and these buttons are used for different functionality. Um, for example, they've programmed the lamp button up to work for the vacuum. Um, the F2 button is uh, for auto tool height, and when I turn that on, it'll reference a tool every time it takes it out of the carousel. Obviously, you don't want to do that every time, otherwise, it'd make your tool changes take a lot longer so they give you the option to turn it on and off. Um, for this though, um, what you need to do in order to set your auto tool height first is you have a reference um, which is called uh, the auto tool to table distance. Now this is fairly confusingly explained in the manual um, and the best way to show you is um, you come out of here into the main screen 
and then flick across um, to the um, area that says parameter which on this is F2 after you've moved across and it gives you a list of all the parameters. Now it's fairly confusing but I've been through the majority of the parameters and the parameter that references the auto tool heights table is parameter 3411. So if I press down here, go to parameter, and then go 3411, and hit OK, and it skips through, and you see at the top there in yellow, it might be difficult to see, it says auto tool to table distance R91. Now, at the moment, mine is set to negative 187804. Um, now this is a reference from the zero type, zero of Z, the um, G53 uh, zero home position, um, to where the tool touch off is. Um, and obviously everybody's will be set differently. So the easiest way to set this is to set this to zero and uh, just press zero and press enter. When you do, it'll ask you for a password. Um, the def default password for the Syntec is set up as 520. So I press 520, enter. And then it accepts my value of zero, which is difficult to see again, but it's there. Okay, now I will go back to the start. And now that I've got this in here, I will flick back to um, monitor, which is here, and bring up the monitored screen, and um, switch the machine back to MDI input. Now, it's, on, it, it's set up on here, it's again difficult to see, but it says T8 just up here. Um, if I uh, turn on F2, which is um, for auto tool measuring, then I get a, a warning come up on the screen that says hint after tool change auto tool open hint which is uh, the obviously the way of the syntax English way of saying that it will check the tool height after I've done a tool change. Now being as I already have my automatic tool height um, reference tool in there if I just uh, click one of these buttons to uh, this one over here to clear it, so it's gone, and then press um, this, because the F2 is on, it will actually go, and it's still set to T8, it will go back and then um, check the tool height. So I'll click the cycle start, and you'll see it runs across, and it very slowly goes down to do the auto tool touch off on my touch tab. Now what this will do at this stage is it will actually give me a measurement um, for that reference offset, the Z offset, the one that we were just looking at that had the really strange 187 number in it. It will actually measure it and check it. And when it does I can show you where you get that reference from. So, this is the way. So there we go, so it's checked it, we run back over to the machine here, and if I go out of here and I go into the offset setting, um, you can see down in this bottom corner here, negative 187.819. Now, I'm just going to, I'm just going to write this down, uh, and then I'll take you back to the parameter page and show you how you put it in.